Welcome to the Creating Intelligent Agents for No Course Activity demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a customized automatic message that is sent to students who have not logged into your course over a certain time frame. At the end of this demo, students who have missed too many days will receive a warning from you. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Other Tools drop down menu. Then choose the Intelligent Agents link. Click the New button. In the Agent Name field, create the name of the agent. Example Identify students not logging into course. Then make sure that the Agent is enabled checkbox is checked. Under Agent Criteria, you have two sets of options, Login Activity and Course Activity. Login Activity means logging into D2L Brightspace. Course Activity means entering into your course. In the Course Activity area, check the box for Take Action when the following Course Activity criteria are satisfied. Then in the first field, user has not accessed the course in blank days. Enter in the number of continuous days the student can be inactive before getting notified. Example, 7 days. In the agent action area, choose take action only the first time if you only want the student to receive the notification once or choose Take Action Every Time if you want the student to receive the notification every time they meet the criteria. Be careful with this one, as the student will get the notification at 7 days absent and 8 days and 9 days, etc. until they log into the system. If you want to set this up to run on a specific date or to run daily weekly or monthly, check the box to use the calendar. Click the Update Calendar button. Choose the frequency for how often you want the system to check this criterion. Example, repeat weekly every one week, repeating on Mondays, starting on the fifth day of class, ending on the third week of class. Note. Make sure that the end date is prior to or the last day of your course. If not, the students will receive your message when they stop coming to your course after the semester ends. Click the Update button. By default, the Who Emails Come From and Where Replies Go To section are set up with the college's D2L Help Desk information. You should update this section with your information from the settings area after saving this new agent. In the To field, we want this notification to go to students who are absent. If you click on the What Special Email Address Can I Use link below the BCC field, you will see a few choices. Copy the one for initiating user. And paste it in the To field. In the CC field, you may want to put your email address so that you receive the notification also. In the email subject field, type in the subject for your message. Example, you have been absent from the course. If you click on what replacement strings can I use in the subject and message link, you have a few choices. Copy the org unit name. And paste it where we typed the course in the subject line. This substitutes the words the course with the actual name 
of the course. In the message area, type in the message you want to email to the student. Dear student, I noticed you have not been in this course lately. Please contact me immediately. If you continue to miss classes, you will be removed from this course. Sincerely, your name, 555-555-5555. Now, to personalize the message, we will replace some of the words. Click again on the What Replacement Strings Can I Use in the Subject and Message link. Copy Initiating User First Name. Paste it over student. And then paste it again. Then change first to last. Then copy org unit name again and paste it over both places of this course. Click the Save and Close button when you're finished. If you want the intelligent agent to run immediately, click on the drop down arrow beside the name of the agent, then click the Run Agent Now choice. Then click the Run button. Then click Done. Before running any intelligent agents, make sure that they are set up to come from your email address. In the top right section, click on the settings link. Then click the set custom values for this course option. Then enter your email address into both fields. Then click the save button. Note, if you don't change this setting, if the student's mailbox is full, or the student replies back to the email, the intelligent agent email will not bounce back to your email and you will not be notified that the student didn't receive it. And you won't receive the reply back from the student. Notice the last run date column to see when the last time each agent run. Notice the disable icon next to the agents that are disabled. For the agent to run, you will need to enable them. You can do this by clicking the box next to its name and clicking the enable icon at the top of the column. If you would like to do a practice run to see who currently meets the criteria of the agent without notifying that person, you can click on the drop down menu next to the agent name and click on the practice run option. Then click the Run button and click Done. Then use the View History option and click on the link in the Results column to see who was identified. You have now successfully created an intelligent agent. It is always a smart idea to disable your agents at the end of the semester.